everyone. We are excited to talk about TTRLA's latest podcast collaboration with DJ Academics and Aunt Glizzy this time. They have brought forth an incredible to part podcast series. In this series, Aunt Glizzy continues to put Shy Glizzy down, showcasing his skills and highlighting the challenges he faced in the music industry. This collaboration is a testament to the power of music and its ability to bring people together, despite the challenges. In the first episode, we delve into the world of TTRLA and their rise to fame, while Aunt Glizzy sheds light on the struggles he faced in the industry. He talks about his experiences working with other big names and the pressure he faced to live up to their expectations. This episode provides a unique insight into the life of an artist in the music industry. The second episode dives into a recent TTRLA event where DJ Academics and Aunt Glizzy teamed up to spice things up. They gave fans an exclusive look at the new music from both artists and engaged in a thrilling play-by-play of their sets. This episode truly showcases the chemistry between the two podcasters and their passion for music. This collaboration between DJ Academics and Aunt Glizzy is a must-listen for. Fans of both artists and anyone interested in the world of music, with their unique perspectives and engaging storytelling, this podcast series takes listeners on an unforgettable journey. So, if you haven't listened yet, give it a go, and we guarantee you'll be hooked on this incredible podcast experience. Aggressive like No he don't. He is a drunk. Yeah, lover boy. His lover. neighbors know his name. Yeah, I know, because the bitch was like, Trey, stop! No way. <laughs> what? So you saying he clobbering her type shit? Mm-hmm. Not her clobbering them. It's probably victims. Me too movement. I'm surprised he didn't come out next. No, well I've said allegedly the the, the Mount Rushmore is Diddy Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, and Trey. Oh yeah, Trey mm-hmm. definitely getting built. And they still build a name for the eyeballs. And yeah, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah. like, it's still like, like, like right now, like bitches be coming out against Trey. We be like, shut up. Like you ain't old <laughs> enough yet. You gotta be a little bit. You gotta get to a certain age. Like, Fifty four. Once he says the fifties, them songs gonna stick. The problem with the chicks coming against Trey songs is like they still fucking other niggas like for the same shit. So it's like, bitch, if you fuck like. You fuck Chris Brown, you fuck Sway Lee and five other niggas, you gonna tell me he the only nigga who did something? Shut up, we don't wanna hear it. it makes but sense. once they get a little older, you know what I mean? And they, you know, they start having their little bifocals on and they get this cellulite going on and we gonna start believing them. But I think his lawyer's been getting ready for that. Damn, I didn't hear about him. I didn't hear about him beating chicks. I, I've heard some stuff I about Trey Songz. being like, like he just aggressive. Like A girl said, told me. If she don't want her bra off, he taking it off. A girl told me a weird encounter she had with him. And I was just like, like kind of on some some Diddy-esque shit. Yeah, crazy. I understand. Was, I, I didn't believe, but then I was watching one of them old bad boy parties. And I ain't going to lie to you. S- guess who was there? Shy and Trey Songz was in there sucking feet off the leg. God. Oh, my granny. What? What? I, said, what? They were, I, I put this. I, I think I did. I say it on YouTube. I already put the story up. Man, I told you I was Shy drunk. And Trey was I wasn't what? drunk. I said I was drunk. I tell you about. They was drunk as shit. Like in some house. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Tell the whole story. All right. We was with Trey Songs one day. I'm gonna just talk real fast. We was with Trey Songs one day. Trey Songs with his girl. I think it was his girlfriend or something. It was some girl he was with her the whole day. I don't know if it was a girl or something, but we end up ducking her because he told her he he was going with Shy and us somewhere. The whole time Shy and us was going with him to where he was going, <laughs> but.